Do you want to know how to make a blackened seasoning mix that will give your recipes a spicy Cajun kick? Hey there, I'm London Brazil from EvolvingTable.com where you'll learn how to make nourishing meals for your loved ones. And today we're doing a quick kitchen tip that will teach you how to make a homemade blackened seasoning recipe. Blackened seasoning is a somewhat spicy seasoning blend that is typically used in the Cajun cuisine. It is very similar to Cajun and Creole seasoning, so it can be used interchangeably in most recipes. You can buy blackened or Cajun seasoning mixes at the store, but you'll want to make sure and double check the label. Some store-bought mixes contain sugar, wheat, anti-caking agents, MSG, or even loads of sodium. So let's go ahead and dive into all of the spices and the herbs that you will need for this blackened seasoning recipe. I bet you already have most of them in your pantry. The first spice you will need is paprika. A regular and not smoked paprika is used, but feel free to substitute some or all of it to give it a more smoky flavor. Next up, we have both garlic and onion powders. The combination of the two is critical to get the flavor you know and love in this seasoning mix. I would not recommend substituting one for the other since they make up a large majority of the spice blend. A blend of three different dried herbs are all used in this recipe. These can be substituted for each other, but I would recommend using at least two different dried herbs to give it a more robust flavor. Blackened seasoning is known for giving dishes a spicy kick, and the majority of that flavor comes from cayenne pepper. If you don't like your blackened seasoning to be too spicy, you can always decrease the amount of cayenne pepper used. Both salt and pepper are added to the mix. The salt is totally optional, and you can leave it out if you'd like to adjust the amount of sodium you add to the individual dishes. Now that you have all of your ingredients gathered together, it's time to start mixing it up. You can mix it together in a medium-sized bowl, or in the glass jar you will be storing it in. Add one tablespoon of paprika, one tablespoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of onion powder, one tablespoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of dried thyme, one teaspoon of dried basil, one teaspoon of dried oregano, one teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and one teaspoon of salt. Whisk seasoning ingredients together until well combined. Store blackened seasoning mix in an airtight container, such as a glass, mason jar, or a spice jar. Homemade seasoning blends will last for one to two years if stored in a cool, dry place. Avoid storing it over the stovetop as this can get a little hot. Blackened seasoning tastes great in everything from a breakfast potato hash, in a southern cornbread dressing, or on a pan-seared salmon filet. Oh yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm-mmm. Mmm-mmm-mmm. Mmm. <laughs> if you would like to learn more cooking basics, make sure you check out these other quick kitchen tips. Thanks so much for hanging out. I'll see you again soon.